Labour ridiculed as a piece of history as John Curtis says nothing new from Starmer. Sir Keir Starmer and Labour's approach to the union is fueling the nationalism fire and turning more voters to supporting the SNP, it has been claimed today. Holsters claimed both Labour and Scottish Labour's approach to the increased threat from Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP would lead to a rise in Scottish nationalism. It comes as a tense period of campaigning is set to begin with the race to be the Scottish Labour leader getting underway today, and Holyrood elections just four months away. Sir John Curtis, Professor of Politics at the University of Strathclyde and Scottish pollster said Labour had only done a single outdated speech on independence. He added to the Daily Express, Starmer hasn't come up with anything new, the party hasn't put flesh on the bone. Professor Curtis claimed because Labour had a less pro-Remain position than the SNP, and Sir Keir refused to renegotiate Brexit, Remainer voters in Scotland had turned to support independence and were more likely to back the SNP. Professor Curtis also said both Scottish Labour leadership candidates DIDNT have well-known enough public profiles and hinted the party could struggle in the upcoming Holyrood elections. James Mackenzie, a Scottish pollster and former Scottish Green spin doctor, added to this publication, the Labour Party has gone from dominant to essentially just a piece of history. I don't see Starmer as a centrist establishment QC changing that in Scotland. Keir Starmer's argument that an independence referendum should be decided in London is tired. Labour's fundamental problem in Scotland is there's no longer enough of a market for left-wing unionism and so it's now time to choose. Monica Lennon will face off with Anis Sawa in a hotly contested leadership to replace Richard Leonard as the next Scottish Labour leader. The Central Scotland MSP and Party Health spokeswoman is vying to replace Mr Leonard, who announced on Thursday he would step down from the role he has held since 2017. Meanwhile, Mr Sawa, Scottish Labour's constitution spokesman, announced his intention to run again having lost out to Mr Leonard for leadership last time around. But in a win for SNP leader and First Minister of Scotland Nicola Sturgeon, both failed to rule out supporting Scottish independence referendum in the future.